One of the country's biggest insurance companies has taken a big step in a new direction. They're looking at more than just doctors and prescriptions. Nicole Kreitz shows us why they're still asking members tonight if they need help with those jobs, housing, even food. With a fixed income and diabetes, finding and eating the right foods at the right price isn't always easy for Tim Weston. Probably more than I can afford on my own. He never thought it would be his insurance company to ensure he'd have a nutritious meal. But I got food and, uh, and recipes on how to cook different meals healthy, health food, healthy wise. You know. And we've learned over the years in the work that we do with the low income population that more things besides their health impact their health. Jerry Jones with United Healthcare says everything from food insecurity to no job, no transportation or housing affects members' health. And we had a hypothesis that connected all of those resources in one place, we could really make a big difference on the community. To bring more resources to customers, United teamed up with Chicanos por la Causa to create a new type of community center in Maryvale. We're able to direct somebody, you know, to the service that, that they're needing at that moment. Pedro Cones with Chicanos por la Causa says with this partnership, they're able to offer job services, computer training, food bank access, behavioral health care, dental services, and more, all under one roof. That's the benefit of being United Healthcare, right? Is, is you have uh, not only uh, the manpower resources or the people power resources, but you have the financial ability to really put forth a project like that. The community center is open to everyone, not just United Healthcare members, because Joan says we're all healthier when each of us is. Our goal and our mission, again, is to really change the communities that we serve in. I think it's great. It needs to be. It should have been done a long time ago.